hello welcome again so in this video we'll create a facebook messenger chat bot so in order to test that you can go to uh, our page webdematics and just uh, send a message like hello or anything it will reply with yeah this message i uh, will add more features later so let's build this so uh, i'll use heroku for hosting my app so i have created a simple laravel application and opened it in sublime so after installing the project uh, what you need to do is just open up terminal and push it to git so uh, sorry push it to heroku so that uh, we can host it live uh, we cannot do this in locally uh, in local environment since facebook uh, needs to communicate so it will be better to come uh, put this on heroku so in order to do that first we need to initialize it with git so run git in it and uh, just add everything git add all and git commit with some message okay so I've already done that okay after you made your first commit uh, you need to push it to Heroku so uh, go to heroku.com and register after you register uh, you will be redirected to this dashboard where you need to create a new app okay so name it anything and just create app so I've already created uh, with name this test bot web dev so after creating that uh, just click on it and uh, generally what we are going to do is we are going to get a, a remote git url so that we can push it to remote so just copy this uh, url so by the way uh, i clicked on this setting tab and here you'll find this url so just run git uh, remote add uh, I will name it Heroku and just paste that URL okay after that uh, uh, the remote will be added and then you can push it so uh, just run git push so uh, git push uh, heroku uh, master so we'll make uh, make this tracking branch so git push dash u heroku master so it will push this our application uh, this local application to heroku in this master branch so while running this command if you face any error so what you can do is you can run heroku login so you might get some uh, error regarding the login so just run heroku login and it will install the heroku cli if it is not already installed and it will ask you for your email and password with which you logged in into your heroku account so just enter that and just run this push command git push Heroku master and it will push it to uh, live okay so if you find any difficulty uh, regarding this pushing it to uh, Heroku uh, there is a video in this channel you can watch that just quick five minute video and you will be good to go so after that uh, now our application is live and one more thing what you can do is uh, in your application uh, if you do not have this config variable so for first time uh, you require to add this so here so for now just ignore uh, these uh, these two I've already added them so just make a new uh, like this app key new variable just add new variable app key like this and this key should be 
key in your dot env file okay so this will be the key just copy it and paste it here and add so I've already added so I'll not do so generally add app key and in same way just add app URL so the URL will be uh, like this you can find it here inside setting so uh, this will be the URL where your project is okay these two will add in a moment so generally this is the verified talk uh, token so yeah we'll handle this okay after that uh, after all uh, done if you go to this URL so if you go to URL you should uh, you should see uh, the Laravel 5 welcome page so the Heroku part is almost done uh, now let's go to uh, the Facebook developer page so just go to this URL developers uh, dot facebook.com and here just create a new app so I've already got this app if you go here and add new app okay just add uh, the app and create app ID and follow the instruction and uh, you'll see this uh, new app And you will be re uh, redirected to this mm, page dashboard so here uh, we need to go to add product so I've already this messenger product you might not see this so uh, go to add product and just click on yeah just click on so I will be added so I do not see this messenger uh, you should see that okay let me add new app okay so you should see this and add product or you should uh, you'll already see so here this messenger just click on get started and we need to generate the token so select a page and I have this web matrix already page set up so yeah so if you do not have page just create one and just click on here to copy it and just create new variable add new variable and okay add new with uh, name this page access token so page access token and paste that value which you just copied from here to, uh, to there okay so after that uh, we need to set up the webhook so webhooks are uh, generally the callback which Facebook will send uh, to your application so uh, after that click on set up webhooks and here you need to uh, provide the URL of your page so that URL will be this which we copied it from here so that uh, URL uh, you should see just copy paste it here okay so this is the home page and we want to make a URL in our application so you can name it callback or verify or anything so I, I will call it bot so uh, this slash bot and verify token uh, this you can put anything so I will just put this is token you can put any uh, text string here so now here just add the, uh, that as well so name it messenger verify token and just put that token here so now we are all set up with this Heroku stuff so we set up our app key uh, page access token messenger verify token uh, so after that uh, just select messages uh, message post packs so you can select uh, deliveries and everything yeah this should do fine so after that uh, if you hit verify and save uh, you should see some error so I'll create an error okay 
so you should see uh, error and if you hover over this you should see uh, URL couldn't be validated and all stuff so this is not found so this route is currently not defined so let's define that so go to your application and go to web.php so uh, let's define a new route so let's define route named a uh, bot which we have used here and create a new controller bot controller at the rate uh, bot so i've already created a bot controller and i've created a new method named a uh, bot and you need to create a post method and get method with same name uh, directing to same url okay so after that uh, we need to create a middleware uh, to verify uh, this token which we created so that uh, it will it is just a method of verifying so facebook will send this verified token and it will check if this same token is available in your application so by the way this configure variable uh, variables are same as uh, dot uh, variables in dot env file so uh, when this is live it will take from there and this is for local this is like the dot env file for heroku okay let's create a new middleware so php addition make uh, middleware and I'll call my uh, middleware verify bot okay so uh, this is the middleware and inside uh, handle you need to put uh, this code okay let me explain what is happening here so so Facebook will generally send uh, this parameter uh, and uh, with the subscribe value uh, and it will send the token uh, uh, which will be this token yeah which will be this token uh, and uh, it will uh, we'll check it with our dot env verify token so we, we are getting it from environment variable so uh, as i have already told this uh, environment variable will be this okay so dot messenger verify token so uh, yeah if this matches uh, will send the res uh, response uh, we should send this response uh, named hub challenge so that is required by facebook and status code 200 so uh, if uh, this criteria matches we will send response so the reason we are sending this response is to verify here so if we verify facebook will send uh, these requests and if it get response hub challenge which we are sending here it will uh, set up our webhook so hit uh, verify and save and that will set up our webhook okay, so after that you should see this uh, webhook and you you should see this complete and here you should select the uh, the page and subscribe so i've already subscribed to webdematic so yeah if you have other page just subscribe okay so this is all you need to do here and just assign that to your uh, get request middleware so uh, that will be generally the get request and so after uh, you created middleware you need to register in uh, http kernel so app slash http kernel dot php so here uh, in yeah middleware group web you need to un uh, comment this line so verify csrf token so uh, uncomment that line and and you need to uh, register it here so i've registered uh, that middleware which we just created so app http verify bot and i've named it verify bot so uh, yeah assign that middleware to get route and we don't need to assign this to post since uh, the verification process will be happening happening uh, through the get uh, request okay all right so let's go to bot controller and here yeah you need to get uh, the request so let me comment this everything for now okay 
so here we are getting the uh, request which Facebook will send when we message to our page so we're getting all requests and we are getting the ID of sender so uh, the, we, we need to get the ID uh, of the sender uh, who is messaging to our page so that we can send back message to him so uh, this if you uh, yeah you cannot dump it here but what you can do is you can write it to file and read it there so generally we cannot test this by dumping it here so if you go to documentation you should see the uh, the response structure and from there uh, it will be inside data and entry uh, messaging sender ID so yeah this will be the ID of sender and uh, we are gra uh, grabbing the message which sender sends uh, like this okay so if our sender message is not empty we'll send the message so uh, the message sending process is happening inside this method so send text message which we have defined it here as a private function so so this is the message data so structure of message data we are sending so recipient id which we are uh, passing it through here and grabbing it here so and message text so message uh, message text is uh, for now it is just hard-coded high body so it will be the message uh, data which will be sending to the sender okay so this is the message data and uh, we are sending it through curl so curl uh, if you don't know about curl just search it inside PHP documentation so generally it is uh, just uh, we are hitting this URL and sending it through uh, from our PHP so we are just executing that code through our PHP okay so uh, we are hitting this route and a page access token as we have set here so this page access token we are getting it here and setting the header JSON and we are encoding our message object to JSON and executing this call option and closing it so it will generally send the message so this part is just responsible for sending the message to sender okay yeah so after that uh, we are done with our code so uh, after that just push it uh, to Heroku so that it will be live okay just git uh, git add everything git commit with any message and just do git push after that okay so git push heroku master or git push will do so after you push this application uh, live uh, just go to the page you created uh, just go to page uh, which you just created and uh, just call below yeah send message so send an, any message hello man yeah it will uh, reply back hi buddy okay so which will be this text so uh, this is pretty simple we'll add more functionality later all right so I will see you in the next part of this video bye